Well, hello, good people. I'm Dimitri, and welcome to my review of the Cooler Master H100 ITX enclosure. We first saw this behind closed doors at CES. They pulled us aside. They were like, "What do you think?" My first impressions was I appreciate their commitment to the design language of the H series. Obviously, it's like a miniature version of the H500 mesh because of the mesh front panel, because of the the whole exterior design language. But the interior cube form factor is a bit. Confusing because it has pretty strong limitations in terms of cooling and GPU compatibility. But interestingly, when they did their market research for this price point for this、uh, target audience, they found that a lot of people were using APUs, AMD APUs. Therefore, no graphics card required. And I guess cooling is not really that big of an issue as long as you have a stock cooler. And I understand their direction to potentially target this case towards that demographic, but it's almost like Cooler Master is shooting themselves in the foot by limiting to that demographic and not doing anything innovative on the interior to potentially cater to somebody who might want a beefier GPU or, more importantly, a nice CPU cooler as well. With long battery life, an NVIDIA MX150 GPU and Intel Core i7 processor in a compact design, the Razer Blade Stealth 13 is a great companion for users on the go. If you want more gaming power, hook it up to the Core X eGPU with support for both AMD and NVIDIA GPUs. The Razer Blade Stealth plus the Core X, the ultimate power couple. And so for $69, it kind of caters to that exact demographic who are not using a beefy GPU or no GPU at all, and just going stock cooler. ITX motherboard, ATX power supply, and that's it. So I feel like there are four main selling points for this enclosure. Number one is the top handle, making this a pretty portable solution for ITX. Although it's a fairly large case for this form factor compared to something like the N case that can actually do water cooling, versus this thing,、mm, not so much. Number two, we have that massive 200 millimeter fan at the front that is RGB. It is the 12 volt RGB connector. 